The following question reads, that dilute hydrochloric acid is added to separate aqua solutions X and Y. So you're adding an acid and it's a strong acid. The observations are shown. Now solution X, remember you're adding sulfuric acid. So let's write that down. You're adding sulfuric acid H2SO4 to the following solutions. So the first one, solution X produces a white precipitate. Solution Y pr produces bubbles of a colorless gas. And then the question reads that which row shows the ions present in the solution? So let's look at option A first, uh, barium ions. If you add barium ions to sulfuric acid, what's going to happen is sulfuric acid has it's a, it's a soluble acid and its ions will dissociate the H plus 1 ions and the sulfate ions. They're going to get uh, dissociated. They will be dissociated and they will be found in solution in dissociated form. And if you add barium ions or any solution that contains barium ions into this, uh, into this mixture, what will happen is it's called ionic precipitation would happen because uh, barium ions, these positive ions would combine with sulfate ions and that would result in the formation of uh, BaSO4 which is a solid which is insoluble. So it's, it's going to produce this insoluble barium sulfate. So in the solution, uh, these barium ions and these sulfate ions, they would get uh, removed and they would end up forming a solid which is going to be BaSO4 solid. So, and that would be a white precipitate because group 2 compounds are always white. So, this is correct. White precipitate would be formed. BaSO4 is going to be a white solid. And let's look at the next one. Your solution Y contains carbonate. Now, it, it has a carbonate ion in it. Uh, solution Y contains carbonate. You're adding sulfuric acid. So, what happens when a carbonate uh, reacts with acid? It produces uh, a salt a water molecule and a carbon dioxide molecule which is a gas so you're going to see bubbles of a colorless gas so the second option is also going to be correct so option a looks perfectly right because both observations would be obtained for option option a but i'll also uh, comment on the other options for example c and d can't be correct because copper and iron are transition metals so if they end up forming a white uh, a precipitate a solid just like barium over here, uh, that is going to be a colored compound. It's not going to be a white precipitate. So transition metals, uh, they can't be present. Uh, it's going to result in a white precipitate. Over here, calcium is in group 2. So if you add calcium ions over here, they're going to combine with sulfate and form calcium sulfate solid. So white precipitate would be formed, but Cl-1 will not produce any gas or any reaction at all with sulfuric acid. So... So the second uh, part of the option B is going to be incorrect. So these two are going to produce colored precipitates. Uh, this would produce a white precipitate, uh, but it's not going to result in the formation of a gas or you won't see any bubbles. So option A is your, is your correct option.